Hello and welcome back everyone to this overview training on SAP Datasphere with me Anubhav on anubhavtrainings.com. In this series of videos, we are learning about core concepts of SAP Datasphere. In the last episode, I showed you how to use SAP Data Marketplace to download the free as well as paid data products online in your Datasphere system for your data building. Now, in today's episode, we will talk about intelligent lookups. Intelligent lookups are nothing but they are joins, but these type of joins are a special type of joins. Why do we need these special type of joins? Because sometimes in order to analyze and build your data in the data builder layer, you would perform a lot of joins between different data sources. Let's imagine there is a customer master table coming from your S4 HANA system and there is a customer transaction data coming from a BW system. Now, sometimes it do so happen that the data is not cleansed. If I take a look at an example of such a data, just assume a use case. And my use case here is I am getting data for the customer master from ECC or S4. Let's say ECC and my customer data is like C1, C, C1 hash or C2 capital letter or underscore C3 or for example C space 4. But in my transaction data which is coming from BW system, I have sales of customer let's say C1 capital with 500, C2 600, C3 900. C4 550. Now, if you try to combine this data in the views, it will not work because sometimes you see here it could be a problem with case sensitivity. Then, in this case, you see there is an extra character which is hash. In the other case, you see there is extra character at the beginning, and there is a space in the middle. Perhaps there could be, let's say, CC5, but here it is C5. There is this extra C. So when you do a normal join, this will fail. What do we do? So especially in cases when you fetch the data from heterogeneous systems and data is not cleansed, we can proceed further and utilize the concept of intelligent lookup. So in my last episode, I showed you loading data products from the data marketplace. We have loaded the world cities by VCA. So this is the data of world cities. 41,000 city data have been loaded with their respective tentative population. Now in this, I have all the city names. Whereas in the previous to previous episode, I showed you building a data model with SQL script. And then we run a data flow to fill my table. If I look at my table data, I have three cities with their aggregated sales. You see, you see the city name is Mandalay. If I go and search this city in the city list, Mandalay, click OK, I would see if I find, yes, we found it exactly. Whereas if I go and search my second city, let's say Nepe Ita. I just go back and just search for knee for example you would notice that in my CT data the data contains a space so let me just show it to you you see it is same city nepe nepe ta but it has a space character now if you do a join in a normal cases yes typically and you also see there are case sensitive issues like it's a small t but here it is capital T so in general if you perform any join in your data sphere for uh, for building your views this kind of join will be not be able to produce the correct data for you so what do we do in this situation to still get the data for the population and let's say latitude longitude and stuff like that we can proceed further with intelligent lookup so let me show you how can we use intelligent lookup with a fuzzy search to still let this data join because you know I know from a business standpoint this data is is same so as a business expert you will be able to take this decision 
based on your data, whether this data is same or not, system will just help you to perform that join still with the intelligent lookup. Let's create an intelligent lookup now. So I'm going to switch over back and create an intelligent lookup. And now first of all, I will use my table where I have the revenue by city. I guess that's the name. Uh, revenue by city. Yes, exactly. That's my force data artifact. I add that as the input. And I will specify that the pairing column will be city. Now I will also go and get the world cities data, which was uploaded from data marketplace in the last episode. And I want to show in the output city, latitude, longitude, country, and maybe I want to then go and use the population of this city. Perfect. Next step is to perform the rule. So if in general, it's an exact match rule without any case sensitive error. So let me join. This is a normal typical join how you do typically. So this is a simple rule I'm adding. But with this rule, I want to see it's like a simple join. Yes, I want to see if my data be able to connect between these two tables and able to produce a joined output with the population and of course the total revenue for that city. So I'll deploy and I'll say intelligent lookup revenue by city. Click save this artifact and then deploy. So this will traditionally uh, this will work like a traditional view and then of course all the data will not be joined because you saw the, the data already I showed you the data use case it will not work so certainly it will not work and only some part of the data will work and join so when I run this okay let it deploy I will just go ahead and run now it's running and what it is trying to do it is looking up both the tables and matching 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 and it found that only 33 percent of the data match 67 percent of the data discarded what is that 67 percent which was discarded let's have a look at it so it matched just one city as i also showed you the one which was medley it was same and case sensitivity which was also same it matched it got the population but for the one which are unmatched it doesn't fetch the data and it doesn't find the relevance also you see and that is of course you know the reason because there's a space and there's a case sensitivity so what i do now in this case I go one one more level down as a business expert you should do this so as a business point of view I know that my data in another table has has some case sensitivity and space issue so I would kind of give a threshold and still allow system to do a match with a with a possible match so I, I would be looking at a near match not exact match and for that we will add another rule so let's go ahead and try to enhance our object with the unmatch record rule. So whatever 67% unmatch, please go with that and do a fuzzy search. And I want to give a threshold as 30 and match record score is 50. So as long as I am still able to match up to the 30% threshold, I would still want to consider that as a match. So system will now propose based on that. So let's choose the city column, match with the city column in the transaction data and now let's go ahead and deploy so system will give you now a warning that uh, whatever match was done already it will be discarded it's okay so the whole exercise i'm doing is because i would like to match this unmatched 67 percent yes that's the goal so i am deploying now and once it get deployed we will be able to execute again and see that how system will be able to do a near like match with a threshold so you see it is done and let's run again and it is running so last time 67 percent of the record failed to match because of case sensitivity or the space issue and look at that now that red has turned into warning means it has found some matches so let's in analyze these matches and it has found multiple matches and for this particular city you see nepe ta it has found this particular match nepe ta there's a space and there's a capital letter 
and the score of matching is 82 percent which is very good and i i know functionally yes this is the correct data i need to match so i say okay i'm fine with it please match it so this uh, set of records will now go under the matched records and i will be able to get the data for population responding to this join for the second sitting yagon let's see yagon so i think it's longyan from china that's the correct match yes or yongyan from china this is the uh, this is the correct match yes so there is an extra apostrophe and a yes so that's a correct match so as a business expert you need to you need to see and you need to find out which is the correct match for for your requirement yes so i guess this is the correct one and i say match and then the remaining record also get matched so finally based on the calculated risk and calculated threshold you will proceed and somehow still allow to match the data or join the data in spite of two data are not absolute same in terms of string so this allows you kind of a ability to go beyond the traditional join and still join the uncleansed data coming from heterogeneous systems yeah and finally we will get our results so you can just go back and check the final result set where it will have all the all the data of population as well as the revenue by ct so we will now get the ct revenue you see ct revenue we got and that remaining data also came from second table it's not null anymore so earlier it was null but now we've got it so two of the cities from Myanmar and one is from China so we've got this data so this kind of joins are possible with the help of intelligent lookup in SAP data sphere all right so that comes to the end of this episode I hope you're enjoying this video series with me Anubhav on SAP Datasphere. So I would request you to kindly share this video with your fellow colleagues and also subscribe the channel if you have not done so, so that you will be notified automatically once I upload the next video on this free series. Once again, Anubhav signing out. Look forward for live training on SAP Datasphere. Watch out on anubhavtrainings.com. You can also send us an email on contact at anuboutrainings.com for a detailed corporate training on SAP Datasphere. Thank you so much. See you and goodbye.